Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and tonight we have an interesting artist to listen to. I will introduce him in the most interesting way possible because there's a story uh, that I want to tell you guys. So I wrote this on paper actually, I wrote this down because I want, I want to make sure that um, the, all the emotions, all the uh, pain and struggle I was having at that time back in 2016 I wanted to like transfer it well in my words so this story is related to this guy uh, this guy uh, is a beginner in the music industry but um, I, I really want to support him and um, I want to promote him I would say I'm here filming a reaction video to his first uh, EP slash album but uh, the story is basically this so it all started back in 2016 back then I loved my life and I had just graduated from high school and I was getting ready to start my education in community college I planned to become a businessman who could afford anything and live an amazing life with his girlfriend nothing foretold troubles but suddenly my girlfriend decided to break up with me because of this event, the future that I have envisioned in my head was destroyed. I felt miserable. I felt empty for a long time and I had to find myself again. One of the few lights in the tunnel of my dark times was music. Music has always been my passion and I really felt connected with it at that low period of my life. At that time, I decided this, if I enjoy listening to music that much, why don't, why don't I start making my own music for a living? It was a crazy idea, because I was not a talented musician by any means. I was simply a fan. Besides, pursuing a successful music career probably meant that I would have to drop out of community college. But that idea really stuck in my head, and I decided to research my first step into having a music career. So, what happened was um, I was thinking about it a lot uh, like towards the end of 2016 and there was this uh, class i mean math class and um the uh, the guy ian actually his real name is ian uh, leon in this um, nickname of his uh, we were having the same math class we were uh, class friends and uh, what happened was our math teacher she gave us uh, a simple question uh, what do you want to quit and she asked us to write it down on a piece of paper and then answer it, but uh, make it um, like, actually, there was also like uh, another question to it. Uh, how will it um, hurt you and how will it help you? So two sides, it's kind of like pros and cons. So if you see on this uh, paper, I wrote down that um, I want to quit college to pursue music career, I think well, actually, <laughs> her, the question, uh, what do you want to quit, meant probably like maybe some addiction or maybe something, some weird habits that she wanted to quit. But in my case, like I, I was thinking about the music career a lot. So I was thinking, so I decided to do this assignment with a uh, music career because I was still hesitating if I should quit college or not. And then I listed my um, pros and cons. And then she asked us, the math teacher asked us to mix it among the answers. I mean, like basically she collected all the answers and she mixed it and like uh, gave it to other people. But um, I was able to actually follow uh, who got my paper. <laughs> and that was Ian, uh, Leon in this sense. He wrote that, um, well, the, the pur purpose was uh, to actually like give some feedback uh, or give some advice uh, to the paper. Uh, so Ian was giving advice to me uh, what he thought uh, of my uh, writing. And she, and she said this, every person has a purpose. You must follow that purpose no matter what. At the end of your life, you will look back and either be proud of who you are or you will die wishing you had followed your dreams. I understand your desire to make a difference and I recommend you do what makes you happy even if people tell you your dream isn't worth pursuing. You have to be your own person. So that's what he wrote and I was like, oh wow, damn. That was cool. I, like, so that was so cool that I actually took a picture and I still have it. And um, yeah, so 
what happened was I actually uh, didn't drop college, but I did go to music school and I was uh, pursuing like music uh, education. It lasted a year. Uh, I've I've got better. I, I understood how to make music, but at the same time, uh, it was so difficult <laughs> that like kind of um, made me give up a bit, to be honest with you. And um, now like it's well, I graduated that music uh, college, but then uh, I kind of put it aside from now music making. I still kind of just uh, make music for fun with my friend Sam occasionally. Uh, but other than that, no, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, I'm just focusing on YouTube channel, but nevertheless, it was a cool story and, um, it, it just showed me that Ian is actually a pretty good guy, um, pretty interesting and, um, and I'm just, uh, I didn't know that he also had, uh, like, interest in music that way and, um, I'm just here to support him, uh, I just, uh, wanna see what he has done with his uh, EP album, how he sounds like. So uh, with that said, let's just go ahead and check out his project, his first project ever. How We Babel. Oh, How We Babel <laughs> by Leon Cano, if I'm saying this correctly. First reaction, let's go. Track one, Can You Feel My Thunder? I'm actually curious how he's gonna be singing. <laughs> Is he? Does he have a good voice? Oh, what? Okay. I like the I like this instruments. Okay, the voice, the voice is actually kind of cool. I mean, um, I I've heard his voice a long time ago. <laughs> last time, not gonna lie, I don't even actually remember that well how he sounds like in real life. But it was not like this, <laughs> you know. So I think it's uh, he's doing a pretty good job that um, he's able to uh, sing well first of all, and um, he's giving some certain vibe with his voice it doesn't feel like just a regular voice it's actually um it's fully immersed into this interesting um musical experience that we are listening right now Some of, the, some of the patterns and the rhythms are not like that typical uh, and uh, it's, sometimes it's not easy to catch the rhythm like it's going for because it's like switching as well. So that's why I was like, if, when it's, it was going faster, I, was, I tried to adapt it with my, my body and like go faster, but then it switched to like a bit slower and I was like, oh, okay, wait a second. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's like, but uh, I mean, it's not a crit critique or anything. I'm just saying like, like that's why my body is acting weird a little bit right now, but uh, it's actually a pretty good song. That's that's very impressive. Oh, 
okay yeah that's very impressive because wow i know that um he oh wow it's transitioning to something else already track two demons that's cool but hold on one second uh because i know that this man ian he produces all of this by himself like he sings by himself he writes lyrics by himself and like he makes this music all by himself like so i'm just uh, very impressed by the vers versatility and uh, how is how he's being a virtuoso in the sense of uh, instruments like how he is able to play multiple instruments he's playing uh guitar he's playing drums and it's just like wow okay <laughs> one person can do all of these things and i mean uh it's not something you're like revolutionary of course we've, we've seen talented people like that before but um i'm just like comparing myself <laughs> unfortunately to like to him right now like if i if my um uh passion for music was that strong and i mean it is strong but like i, I guess passion for making music and passion for um, keep going like just stay focused and actually realizing that dream I had back in the day of becoming a musician uh, if I kept going maybe I would also uh, be able to actually play on multiple instruments and like but you see how far his determination got him like he is able to do a lot of things right now um and all by himself it's just really impressive and uh, musically sonically it just sounds good it's actually really nice so track two we have demons Inside my veins, it wants my Uh, well, in, in the first minute of the song, actually, like I was thinking, some things still could have been could have been executed better. Um, there are aspects like I, I'm glad that he's trying to um, experiment and like do different things, but it, it does appear a little bit messy, just a little bit. Uh, the production is just going different ways, and it's like sometimes it's hard to understand where is it going specifically or. Uh, is it sounding actually that good? Maybe this, the, the pattern. Maybe we should have gone this way, but he, uh, but uh, Leon is going this way a little bit with instrumentals, and I'm just like, okay, but like the payoff is not that great. But uh, well, again, uh, let's keep listening though. Okay. Well, <laughs> um, some of the aspects were okay, it was not that bad at all. Um, some of the aspects were kind of cool. But again, like as, as a song overall, I just, uh, I'm not really dying to come back to it. It, it felt a bit messy, for, to my ears at least. And I, I know that um, once you listen to it more, you get used to the song and then it's, you uh, adapt to those weird interesting patterns that an artist is trying to uh, portray in his song but um, uh, I just feel like even if I will listen to it multiple times um, I will not grow into liking it uh, it will not grow on me like that um, yeah but th the song is just okay for me I think like tr like track one for example much better in my opinion than track two so uh, but let's listen to other songs track three on the video <laughs> okay this is better for me <laughs> I like songs like this actually <laughs> dynamic kind of uplifting when it comes to the sound And the voice 
and the, the manners of singing like the way he's doing it it's it's you can feel the inspiration but i can understand like what art is but i've heard similar singing before what's coming to my mind right now it's the band uh, uh, matafix but at the same time it's a british band and it's been a long time ago i don't think he has ever heard matafix but I guess it's just to my ears. That's actually a compliment <laughs> for me to say that he sounds like Metafix because like I really love Metafix. There's also um, 21 Pilots, kind of sounds like Tyler a bit, um, Leon Kanoe. But um, yeah, but I mean, it's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's good that like names like this actually come to my mind when I'm listening to him. is keen um, nothing on my way <laughs> kind of like that as well hmm <laughs> it's cool that he was able to add effects like this nine, eight. oh no <laughs> i thought it was gonna be 10 9 8 but then oh okay three Not yet. Still building up, building up. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Damn. Well, rock is not my genre, to be honest. I mean, I like rock, but um, it depends. It really depends on the artist and like what kind of song is presented. So that's why it's like a little bit, um, I would say, unfair to Leon Cano because like some other people who are into rock or who are into this type of music more they will probably appreciate it much more they will probably like it more but i'm, I'm still i'm here sitting uh, i appreciate the sounds and it's actually pretty good pretty cool uh but it's not really my cup of tea and it's like mm, i'm probably not gonna listen to it again uh but at the same time i can appreciate the, the effort and the artist and like what's happening so it's kind of like that, it's like, um, for me, like a hit or miss project, it's like a 5 out of 10 project for me as of now. But again, the, the track 1 is probably the only track I would um, actually like come back to and listen to. But on the video though, I liked it better than Demons. Okay, track 4, Ghost. I actually didn't really get like when he says oh my god you love me is he happy <laughs> uh, i mean probably <laughs> it was, it, like the the dramatic music it's like makes me feel like he's um, feeling so many things at the same time like oh wow like i don't know um it's just um splash of emotions the 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 um, instrumentation suggests uh, at least but um all we're hearing with the words is uh, oh my god you love me and i'm not sure if if it's great for him or not <laughs> i don't know uh but probably is a track five shane okay
Well, at least I'm singing along on this one. So <laughs> that means something. That means actually something. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling this one, actually. This is not a bad track at all. It's pretty good. Yeah, I feel like uh, track one and track five are the strongest ones in the track list. And we have track six, the the Agathist. The, the Agathist. Okay, this one is real nice. Okay. Uh. The, the mixing could have been better though, uh, in all of the songs I think. Um, there are times when you can feel that the, the voice is uh, so much lower than the instrumentation. Um, I feel like it should have been more even out uh, between the vocalist and the melody. Well, that's the end of the album. Um, okay, that was interesting. Something that I don't typically listen to. And I feel like the audience was not right, <laughs> like I, me being the audience was not really right for this album. I feel like there will be people who will be more interested uh, in uh, the sound of this album than I am. It's just, I know that there is a market for music like this and there are there is music like this. Uh, I personally was not really into that style. and. Uh, I said rock like in general but this is more like there are different types of rock too and um, I've, I love artists like Nirvana, Metallica, Linkin Park and uh, Green Day and Earth Watch Little Peppers and artists like this. There are different types but th this kind of music and I've seen other people listening to it I was never big fan so again <laughs> I'm not a specialist in this music as well so I don't I cannot really give a constructive criticism on this album um, all I can express is that like there are cool things happening I can feel it I can hear it um, impressive instrumentation still and uh, vocally while I haven't heard something miraculously beautiful or uh, impressive when it comes to like high tones uh, still uh, vocally at least uh, Ian uh, was doing fine uh, I, I just wish there was um, better mixing and mastering but again Leon is doing this all by himself and you know mixing and mastering is such a tough job I mean, I've, I know it by myself and I was trying to master it mix my songs is just it's really really difficult to make it sound crisp and awesome and clear and even professional uh, musicians like uh, i mean pretty big big artists uh, there there are times when uh, the mix is not that great actually <laughs> on those songs yeah so i understand i understand again if uh, leon <laughs> aka Ian, uh, he will um, find more people to work with if uh, he's not gonna be doing all by himself uh, then I think the music will get better but as of, as, a, as, a, as of right now as a first step you know as an introduction to him I think this was not bad not bad at all um, and I can um, give uh, Leon Kano 5 out of 10 uh, that's my personal mm, enjoyment of the album all right thank you so much for watching this video um i'm and when it comes to me by the way i just uh, forgot to say uh i've told you about like the business like um I w in the beginning of the essay i wrote i was saying like oh i plan to become a businessman who could afford anything and live an amazing life with his girlfriend well girlfriend is not here but actually i am um 
doing uh, business related things I am I'm in a full job right now I'm uh, working with my dad because he has his own company and that was something that was always there in my life and um, now finally I'm actually being able to work with him and uh, help him a lot and uh, we're doing some interesting things in business here so and also I feel like I didn't entirely give up on music industry just yet uh, I enjoyed making videos so I continue doing videos and also um, when it comes to music maybe one day yeah, like I will I will turn, I will be like a second Jake Paul or something, or like, uh, I don't know, Joji, where they actually have, uh, after like being YouTubers, they turn themselves into musicians and they have uh, their like solo music career. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> but the uh, uh, first step is actually um, getting bigger on YouTube. All right. So thank you so much for watching again. Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to this channel. Let me know in your comments below. What do you think about Ian's music? Ian will be happy to uh, read your thoughts on it. And if you want to check it out, uh, links in the description box below. Description box, uh, any platform, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, you will find this music on those platforms. Okay? All right. I'll see you guys in the next ones.